What's going on YouTube, it's your boy St. Cloud coming back with another video. And today we got three albums we're gonna be reviewing. 1AM, House Party, Slime Dollars, Sneaky Shooter, and Slump 6 S's, Exodus or Exodius, I'm not sure. You can correct me in the comments. With the first album, 1AM, House Party. TDF is the main executive producer alongside Perk 40 and Rock on the Track. And first listen of this album, I was a little underwhelmed and mainly because it's the way he started off the album. I wasn't a big fan of Drunkest and Coke. Like Drunkest sound like a part one and Coke sound like the part two to Drunkest. In my opinion, this album really picks off on the third song, Too Late. And if he chose a different song on this album to start it off, like maybe the song Trap with the longest, I don't know what, phone call he added on to it with him and some chick. Nigga think he Drake or Brent Fires. Drunk as fuck had the better beat, but I feel like Trap had a way better intro feeling than Drunk as fuck. And if you haven't heard 1AM before, this is the most perfect album to start on. This ain't his peak, but this is definitely a full course meal. He ain't leave nobody starving on this album. This was a well put together album. My favorite song on this one, Out the 34th. I'm out there, I'm out there. Man, the whistle and the way the beat was punching me in my goddamn ear like I owed it money. And this nigga Zen's flow on this song with the beat switch and the flow switch real quick. The nigga was going too crazy on this song. And another song that really stood out to me because we got Baby Zen or Alien Zen on the song. I don't know what this is. Call me. <laughs> Slime Dollars Sneaky Shooter. Now, this album only 13 songs, a quick and easy get through. Won't take too much of your time, but at the start, he picked the most perfect song to start this album with. The song has already been out, but it still was a good introduction to this album. Back in my feelings, right when this beat starts, you're like, oh yeah, we about to be in something. This dark, ghostly beat. Feel like this nigga about to creep behind you and kill you, and he talking about he back in his feelings. Cover on my head, they say I'm shy. Everybody, they did not like me. They say I ain't got no friends. They say that, but moving very the highlights of this album are Slime Dollars' flows and his beat selection because every song on this album, he's just, it has that punch, it has that kick to it where he just, he really is just talking over the beat, but it's in a way that is just harder than everybody else. The shit he be saying, you really feel like he mean that shit cause he really do. When I play this man music, it give me the effect where I think I'm a killer, I'm a driller, I'm ready to step on any nigga in my path. Songs like Acrobatic and Elevate really show that, but at the same time, not all these beats are hard hitting, I'ma kill you, I'ma drill you. He actually has a R&B like beat on here, some slow shit. He's still talking about killing niggas, but that shit sounds so beautiful and blissful, man. Y'all gotta hear this shit. I had to get it, I had to run it, I had to beat it, I had to bust it. I got a gun, came from Russia, I told you I'm always clutch. Man in the mirror with the pistol, I feel like I'm 50 cent, go get rich down. My favorite song on this album, No Friends, man. It's the beat, the bars, he's talking that shit. He say he feel like the Undertaker. You already know me, I'm a day day he hit. Anytime this nigga Slime Dollar say a WWE bar, I'm like this nigga the GOAT. Anytime anybody say a WWE bar, I be like that nigga is the GOAT. Why, why are you glazing? Shout out the Undertaker, nigga. That's all I gotta say. Baby, don't have a My baby, it tastes like, uh, damn. 
like the Undertaker. I came from the devil, now I got a prison. Why all my old friends was dissing? They was trying to hit half of my bitch. I'm a hot boy, gun, got a cooler kid. Don't play with that care, I do a bitch. Better pick a side before I pull my pistol. They say snake care. There's only like two songs on this album, and that's me being very picky for y'all. That I was just like, eh. But all together, this album is almost flawless 13 songs not long like how most of these people's albums are 20 to 17 songs now perfect straight to the point slime dollars you did your thing kto let's get into the right clouded <laughs> slime a shooting star i ain't play my part why my eyes they talk to the fucking car now my first listen of exodus or Exodius. When I heard Sex, I was like automatically knew this was the best song on that album. The flow, the beat, everything about it was hard. I think he snippeted this on his Instagram. When I heard the song as a snippet, I was like, oh, that's a hit. I automatically knew. But I expected the rest of this album to be like that, sound like that, which it, some of the songs did, but at the same time, they ain't hit the same like Sex did. But that was only on my first listen. After my second listen of this album, I can see Slump 6 has evolved and changed. His sound has made a level up, but some of these beats and some of these flows on this album just didn't hit for me. He had one song where I thought I was listening to Young Thug. I was like, yo, this man, Slump 6 got flows upon flows. Even if it's not fully his, he can do hella flows. We seen this man go from a little ass kid on them hard ass glow beats. Some of these were glow beats, but we really have seen this nigga evolve into something pretty great. <laughs> He had a one Osama Sun feature on here, and to be honest, the song's not even that good. Osama Sun couldn't even save it. I, I blame it on the beat, but it just wasn't like the best song. Especially you would think Slump 6 and Osama Sun would do some hard shit together, but I just know we can get something better out of Slump. I only liked 9 out of 15 of these songs after two listens. And when this album is good, it is good, it is nice. But it also has its low points as well. To be honest, he should have left some of these songs off on an EP or on a whole different album. That song he made with Osama Sun could have been dropped as a single because to me, this shit sound like a throwaway. But the highlights of this album is the bonus song, Money, Money, Money Signs. And Izzy, or I-S-S-E-Y, -S -S -E I don't know what that is. Is I? Is that? I don't know if that's French or something. I don't know what the fuck. These fucking archive wanna be cool ass niggas with these one word titles. Not gonna say this album was bad, cause it wasn't bad, but it could have been better. Way better. I got high hopes for Slump 6 in the future, but Sex Man, this this song saved the whole album for me, cause the way he just came on that bitch, it was too hard. I can't say this album's ass when they got sex on this bitch. I just can't. <laughs> I 